this is meteorologist Mark Molnar, and as always, I want to thank you for joining me for this edition of Weather Northeastern. We have a lot to talk about today. Uh, first things we're going to talk about is the nor'easter style system in the northeast, that coastal hugger. Uh, not going to be tremendously strong, but going to really ruin a, the Memorial Day weekend for a lot, with colder temperatures and lots and lots of rain. And then we get into the deep south. Uh, we've got some severe weather to talk about over the next several days and the tropics. The all-important tropical update. Um, there is some things I want to talk about as the intertropical convergence zone really starts to get cranking here out in the Atlantic. So we're going to touch on that a lot uh, this segment as well. So I'll get into some of the model runs and see what's going to be happening over the next several days and into the coming weeks. Uh, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell button. If you haven't already, you'll be alerted when I come out with one of these videos. And in the description down below, check out my 2021 Hurricane Outlook if you haven't already. And I will be putting timestamps down into the description down below as well for the video. Taking a look at the Tropical Atlantic, the biggest segment of this time of year, we're looking at the Intertropical Convergence Zone continuing to be very active off the coast of Africa. You see those tropical, we're watching actually a couple tropical waves. We'll continue to watch those for any potential development. Right now, I don't see any development, at least in the next three to five days through the middle of this next week after Memorial Day. But after that, we're going to have to continue to watch because... You know, this time of year, this is actually a very active uh, pattern for this time of year in the tropical Atlantic. Um, we've got that big trough across the east coast. Lots of high pressure, though, dominating here uh, from the Azores all the way up uh, to portions of uh, the Caribbean here. So high pressure is pretty much in control. Um, and we see those tropical waves pretty far to the south as they usually are for this time of year. Here across the western Gulf of Mexico, uh, the, you see the area of showers and thunderstorm activity coming off of the south of Texas coastline here in northeast Mexico. Uh, that will traverse into the western Gulf of Mexico. We always have to keep an eye on these thunderstorm complexes that come off the Gulf Coast region, especially the Texas area, for any possible development. Uh, this time I don't see anything developing out of this, but... As this time of year, anything could happen. So I'll keep an eye here on the thunderstorm complex in the western Gulf of Mexico. Sometimes we can get some spin-off uh, type of activity here. Taking a look at the rest of the tropical Atlantic and Caribbean here, look at your eyes are drawn there to the intertropical conversion zone. Uh, it is riding pretty far to the south this time of year, so anything that does develop will continue to move towards the northern coastline of South America here. So uh, I don't see anything developing at the moment, but we have lots of shower and thunderstorm activity. It's much more vigorous than it is normal for this time of year. The rest of the Atlantic and Caribbean is very clear right now, but that will be changing in the coming days. Taking a look at the model run here, the GFS across the tropical Atlantic. One theme you notice here is the stubborn pattern through early June into the first part of June weekend. High pressure continuing to anchor near the Azores pretty much dominating the entire tropical Atlantic, that intertropical conversion zone, extremely active for this time of year off the coast of Africa, spreading lots of showers and thunderstorms westward towards the windward, leeward islands, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and Cuba, and then Florida there. So this is going to be a common theme. I don't see any sort of development in the short term here, at least during the next three to five days, but we will have to continue to watch because this is very active for this time of year. Taking a look at the model run here, this is the NAM 12 kilometer one, thanks to tropicaltidbits.com. You can see that low pressure system riding along the coast here from, say, uh, later Saturday, Sunday into Monday, Memorial Day. This is, uh, this is a problem here across, you see the low pressure riding from the Virginia area. And then jumping off the coastline here and redeveloping in many different areas, moving up along the coastline here, right around a 10, 14, 10, 15 millibar low. Not very strong, but enough to produce some rain uh, well inland across uh, parts of the coastline and into well inland and clouds, holding the temperatures down as well. So as we get this slug of moisture to move northward, especially Sunday into early Monday, seems to be the worst time of it. Just in time for Memorial Day weekend. The rest of the eastern part of the United States, southeast into the Midwest, it's even southeast Canada, looking pretty good. Taking a look at the overall upper air pattern, we have a big trough here across the east. That's no surprise to you because we got that coastal system just in time for Memorial Day weekend, holding temperatures as much as 20 to 25 degrees below average. This is just terrible. We got the rain, wind out of, and out of, wind out of the northeast here. 
And then across the southeast, we got some of that colder air sneaking into parts of Georgia and the Carolinas. But for the most part, we will stay nice across the south for Memorial Day. And out west, look at that. The heat is on. Temperatures soaring well above average. Here it is, your Sunday across the northeast. Yeah, it's... uh. It's very depressing to say the least here. We got a low pressure system, a coastal load developing just south of Atlantic City, New Jersey. That's going to continue to slowly pull to the northeast here. A spreading showers and guess what? Yes, your uh, colder temperatures. Your Memorial Day weekend would not be complete without a nor'easter style system now, would it? I mean, look at these temperatures held in down into the 50s. Uh, 49 even in Scranton, 52 in Binghamton, 51 in Albany, Portland, Concord, Boston, 54, even New York City not even making it to 60 degrees. We we'll managed to uh, kind of push it out a little bit here to Erie, 62. Uh, Toronto actually being the warm spot, which is rare for this time of year, more breaks of sun than nor you know the rest of the Northeast, at 64. Taking a look across the southeast here for your Sunday, a lot better than the northeast. Look at this. I, I do want to make note, though, look how much co cooler. Uh, is that cold front blasts in from the north? All that cold air pouring in. 72 in Nashville, 77 in Atlanta, 79 in Birmingham. Really breaking the heat, even though only 69 and 68 in Norfolk. Look at this. You have to go down into Florida to get into the 90s. Tampa, 92, 91 in Miami. Chance of a shower. Thunderstorm across South Florida, but most of the Southeast staying dry. You have to get over to Texas to get into showers and thunderstorms over by the Dallas-Fort Worth area and Austin, Texas. Houston staying dry as well. Look at that. And here it is, Memorial Day itself. Uh, many of you have this off, which is good, but unfortunately we're still dealing with a nor'easter here, winding up near the southeastern part of New England. Now, we are kind of pulling a lot of the moisture away from western New York, western Pennsylvania, Maryland, and West Virginia, and eastern Ohio. We kind of get into some drying here. Temperatures actually heading up towards near 70 degrees. I-81 corridor, probably a chance of some morning and early afternoon showers. Holding down into the mid-60s, this is better than what you have been over the past weekend here. Uh, and then, of course, near 70 towards uh, New York City here. This is good. But taking a look at New England, this is just where we've got some problems. The showers winding up, some heavier down east uh, parts of Maine. Just not really looking like the greatest day. We will warm it up a little bit slightly, though. And your Memorial Day across the southeast is looking much better than the northeast. Look at that. We start to warm things up even behind the cold front as it begins to stall across central Florida and over by Louisiana and Texas. We have the chance of a strong thunderstorm here in south Florida with that front. Maybe a large hail damaging wind. 89 in Miami. Look at that. 95 in uh, Tampa. Really hot. The hot spot here. And then across that, snakes across the Gulf Coast region over towards Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin, Texas, getting into some strong to severe thunderstorms, damaging wind, large hail, isolated tornadoes possible, unfortunately, for your Memorial Day. But look at that, 87 80, and 86 in Atlanta and Birmingham, 89, nice dry weather in Panama City to get out there and enjoy the beach. And in the Carolinas here, Raleigh and Norfolk there, 79 in Raleigh in southeastern Virginia, Norfolk, 76. And here it is Tuesday across the northeast, yep. You guessed it. Look at that. You're, everybody's going back to work. High pressure kicks back in off the northeast coast here. Return flow bringing some nice temperatures into the low to mid 70s, even upper 70s into parts of New York City into eastern New England here. Yeah, most of you are back to work and look at that. The sun comes back out, the nor nor'easter pulls away. That's usually how things go here in the northeast. This is how we roll. So there you have it. For those of you that actually have this day off, Congratulations, you chose a good way to extend your Memorial Day weekend. Look at that. And across the southeast, things get a little bit more active here. Staying dry in Birmingham, Atlanta, Raleigh, Charleston, and Norfolk. But look at this, South Florida and Central Florida. The tr front tries to come back north here. This is usually what happens this time of year. Warm weather, warm temperatures, tropics winning out here, 94 in Tampa. Look at this over by Texas, Louisiana, parts of northern Mississippi. Arkansas, we get some strong to severe thunderstorms with this warm front moving to the northeast. You know the saying, never trust a warm front. And this one, you cannot trust. Lots of uh, dynamics going on with this. Damaging wind, large hail, isolated tornadoes cannot be ruled out here in parts of Texas, uh, northern Louisiana, and into the mid-Mississippi River Valley. And here it is Wednesday across the northeast. Yep, return flow. We get a, that warm front pushing in from the south across the Carolinas, parts of Kentucky. And we get that chance of severe, severe thunderstorms just south of Pittsburgh, uh, places like uh, West Virginia, extreme western Maryland here, and extreme western Virginia. 
And then we get a chance of a late day shower across uh, Pennsylvania, upstate New York, into parts of central and southern New England. Temperatures will be nice, though. Well, most areas mid to upper 70s, near 80 there in many parts of New England. And here it is, Wednesday in the southeast. Look at that uh, warm front pushing there to the northeast. We have that enhanced risk of strong to severe thunderstorms. Tornado threat is increasing places like uh, Tennessee and northern Mississippi, northern uh, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Texas there. That cold front moves in. we got warm front moving across Nashville. Showers and thunderstorms expected throughout the entire southeast here, for that matter. You can see that stalled out frontal boundary across Florida. Another focal point for showers and thunderstorm activity. But the big fanfare, the big fireworks show will be across the mid-Mississippi River Valley, southwestward through parts of Texas. So looking at like between 2 p.m. and 10 p.m., uh, this is in the orange zone here, enhanced risk. This is where we could see some big problems later in the day. And my extended outlook from hometown viewers and beginning to Scranton's upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York into northeast Pennsylvania. Look at this. Yeah, you know it. It's uh, Memorial Day weekend and it's time for the weather to be horrible with the nor'easter. Look at that. Rain and wind on Sunday. 52 is the high. Half an inch of rain likely, maybe up to three quarters of an inch. Memorial Day, we do manage to get some more breaks of sun. We still get that thread of showers in the forecast uh, for your area here. And only heading up towards the mid-60s. Um, look at that. The day is starting out in the 40s just about every day. Tuesday, we managed to break out the sunshine. But by that time, most of you are back to work, unfortunately. Heading up towards 73. Beautiful day lower humidity and then Wednesday we get that threat of a late day shower do head up towards the upper 70s and then Thursday we're back with the rain we could see up to an inch of rain possible with the next system only heading up towards the mid 70s as always thank you for joining me for this edition of weather northeastern if you haven't viewed already my hurricane outlook as I've said for 2021 it is in the description down below there's a link and don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell button so you're alerted when I come out with one of these video updates. You're going to want to do this throughout the tropical season because I am going to release more frequent updates. Social media, please give my social media pages some love. It's Facebook and Media Mark, Facebook uh, Weather Northeastern, also Hurricane Northeastern, also Twitter at WX Northeastern, and it's MediaMark.com and WeatherNortheastern.com. Thank you for joining me.